Even if things don't go well, it's meant to happen. Are you dating anyone? Do you have a boyfriend? High school is not easy. So I advise you to protect your peace. The plot, the plot, the plot. <laughs> the heart wants what it wants, you guys. Ah! and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a get ready with me for my first solo game of senior year. Today is Friday, September 15th and we have our first home game. It was actually supposed to be the second day of school. We're supposed to have a football game but then it got canceled because the other team forfeited so now we're here. But I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me some questions or tell me some topics you guys want me to address or just update you guys on with my life. I haven't done an updated Q&A in a while so I thought I would just do it while you're ready. And I'm also going to show you guys all the products that I'm using. I'll link them down below in the affiliate link section. I try to do that when I talk about products in my videos so that you guys can check out products that I use but with all that being said, let's get into it. First, I'm using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. They actually sent me this in a PR package which is so freaking cool but I've been using this and like really liking it it's like a sticky consistency and it's really good for keeping on all your makeup for a long day which is perfect for tonight because we have a very long night ahead of us the football game doesn't start until 7 p.m. and also it's USA themed keep my crew neck and that goes on for like two hours I think so like seven to nine but then before that we're having a tailgate at my school we're passing out like hot dogs chips drinks and everything and then also there's games so that starts at five but it's we has to be there at 4 30 because we're the ones that sets up and passes out everything but not only that we're also probably going to end up at in and out tonight i feel like that's a football game tradition is that you go to in and out after the football game it's so packed i'll show you guys later now i'm going in with the glossier perfecting skin tint i'm in the shade g7 love this product i've been using it so much basically every single day and i literally swear by it now because i don't like doing any heavy there's a plane Like I was saying, I don't like putting on too much of a heavy base, so like foundation or concealer. So the skin tint is perfect. It's kind of like a BB cream, very light coverage, and that is everything that I'm looking for. And to blend it out, I'm using this Bare Minerals like stipple, stipply brush. I don't know what it's called. But now time to talk about some of the topics that you guys recommended. A question I got a lot was how is senior year so far? Okay, so the day that I'm filming this, I've been in school for like almost a month. And so far, senior year has been going really well. I literally love my schedule. I love my classes. I said this in the class comp vlog, but I have a feeling senior year is going to be my best year or like favorite year of high school. And I still stand by that. I feel like my outlook is just so positive this year and just everything. I don't know. Even if things don't go well, it's meant to happen. And I feel like we're just going to have a good year. So but my classes if you didn't know if you need a little refresher here's my schedule first period ap calc second period gov and econ third period ap lit and then fourth period asb and then fifth period is work experience but we only meet on mondays so every single day it's so light and so easy i get home at like 1 30 which is so nice i've never had a schedule like this before because all my years of high school i've had six classes a full schedule but it's so great because basically when i get to asb fourth period i'm like free i can just go home after that i can take a nap I can have my after school snack just take my time after school and it's literally my new favorite thing about this year But besides that I feel like my classes haven't been too hard I mean, it's only been like three weeks not even a full month yet So we'll see if i'm saying that in a month or two But I have a feeling my calc class is going to be my hardest We've already had a quiz and a test and I have a test next week. So hopefully I do good. Oh, by the way, look at this nail <laughs> Are we surprised? I don't think so. I feel like I always have broken nails when I'm filming. Fortunately, I really like math So even though it's kind of difficult and challenging like I have a good time learning the material if that makes sense So your girl is not complaining and then also all my teachers are so nice so chill I feel like i've already created a relationship with all of them Which is great because I love when I can be comfortable around my teachers and like i've mentioned I have friends in like all of my classes So overall senior year has just been really good so far crossing my fingers that it stays like this next I'm going in with the rare beauty blush and highlighter my blush is like exploding i don't know what happened but it's like leaking everywhere but i also love these products these are all like my daily makeup routine products so you've definitely seen them before if you've watched like my recent videos but this blush is in the color happy so cute i do two little dots like that i also go in with the highlighter at the same time but i only do one dot on the top that and then i blend it with this real techniques blush brush now i'm going to talk about upcoming events in the next two weeks it's all about homecoming ah! 
Ugh, I love homecoming season. It's a very stressful time, especially for ASB, because like we have to put a lot of things together, but it's also a very fun time. And I don't know, I just love high school dances. Our homecoming spirit week is not next week, but the week after that. And then we have our homecoming football game and then the homecoming dance. I already have my dress picked out, I think. I ordered it online, so I'm just waiting for it to come and then hopefully it looks good. If not, I'm kind of screwed and have to figure out what I'm gonna wear, but stay tuned for all of that that's coming. And then also I made homecoming court. Based Basically what my school does is the whole school nominates 10 boys and 10 girls for homecoming court and then at the homecoming football game that's when they announce the homecoming queen and king. But it's really cool and I'm really happy that I'm on homecoming court. Along with that we have an assembly next week where we like walk down the middle of our school. They like introduce us and we like sit on the stage. I don't know. I'm gonna film it so don't worry. And then also at the football game the girls are in like long gowns and the boys are in tuxes. Like it's this whole thing. <laughs> It's kind of nerve wracking to be a part of, but pretty excited and I'm just happy to be a part of it. But yeah, I need three dresses. <laughs> One for the assembly, one for the football game, and then one for the actual dance. And again, don't worry, you guys will be getting all the content. Other than homecoming and like spirit week and everything, we just have more football games and like volleyball games and that's all I can think of for now. Oh, actually we have another class comp in like November, I think. So stay tuned for that. Next, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty matchstick and this is in the color Mocha. I take this, I draw a line right here. Wait. Yep. A line right here. And then I saw this girl do this on TikTok and I've been doing it ever since. I do two lines like on my eyes like that. And then once it blends out, it looks great. It's kind of like eyeshadow, but it's so quick because it's like a two in one step. And then the brush I use is this Alamar like angled brush. Oh, and literally look like the blush exploded on my brushes. Then I just like tap it and it blends so nicely. Next, I'm going to talk about high school advice and just things I've learned from high school. I know I have a lot of viewers around the same age as me. Some are in like middle school, about to go to high school. So I get a lot of questions like advice for freshmen or sophomores, juniors, seniors, all of that. I'm trying to formulate the things I've learned for y'all. First thing I would like to say, get ready for this saying, okay? Peace over popularity. I'm gonna say it one more time. Peace over popularity. And what I mean by this, basically, let's talk about my sophomore year. Definitely not my best year. <laughs> when people ask me what is like my worst year of high school, I always say sophomore year. That's just because a lot of things happened. And you know, I'm honestly grateful for it though, because I learned a lot from that year. But what I mean by peace over popularity is that year I found myself like chasing the cool kids, like the popular kids. And what I would do is like act differently, not like myself, in order to please those people, just to try to fit in or like be cool like them or like how. I thought they were. Let me tell you, it is not worth it. I found myself multiple times throughout that year just like not happy with myself because obviously I wasn't being my authentic true self because I was just trying to be someone else in order to hang around these people. So this is like a really big takeaway for me because when I say peace, that's kind of like finding your happiness or like finding your true self and not trying to act for other people. I'm so grateful now that I've found my friend group that I'm most comfortable with, I'm most myself with, and I don't have to change my personality or like whatever I do in order to feel like a part of the group. And I think that's a good segue into my next point is the people you surround yourself with throughout high school is so important. I feel like when, whenever I talk about friends, I'm always like, I've had my fair share of like friend groups, toxic friendships. And it's because I've been in a lot of situations where I'm not acting like myself or I'm being more negative than positive. And a big influence of that was because of the people I surrounded myself with. I completely believe in the saying, you are who you hang out with. So if you're with people that talk bad about people all the time, most likely you're going to adapt to that too and act like that. Or if you're around people that don't don't really care about school and they're not motivated or productive, most likely you're gonna have those habits as well. So like I've said, I am so grateful now that I have a good friend group. We have ASB in common. We prioritize our grades and our classes. And overall, we just wanna like have a good time and be happy. And I think that is just so important because honestly, high school is not easy, you guys. And I know a lot of people that can second me on that. I don't know, I feel like so much happens. Like everyone's going through different stuff and it gets messy a lot of the times. So I advise you to protect your peace and hang around people that up lift you and not bring you down. Other than that though, my biggest regret of high school is taking AP Chem. <laughs> Literally worst class of my life. I don't know how I got persuaded into taking it. Personally, if I could redo something, it would be to not take AP Chem. But on that note, my base is done. This is the skin tint, the blush, highlighter, and contour all together. It just gives me a very glowy, dewy, like natural look and I love it. Now I'm going in with the Glossier Boy Brow Gel. I don't like putting any color into my brows. This is a clear brow gel. I just like shaping them to make sure all the hairs are going the same way. But now we're gonna talk about relationships. 
a lot of y'all ask questions about this topic. I get these questions all the time. Are you dating anyone? Do you have a boyfriend? Are you single? Are you in a relationship? I'm answering all of that right now. You guys will finally get your answer. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Your girl is currently single. <laughs> um, yeah guys, I am single right now. I feel like for senior year, a big goal of mine is just to work on myself and work on my happiness. When it comes to relationships, I feel like I can become really dependent on other people for my happiness. And I don't know, it's just not good for me. I feel like I haven't been able to just be happy like with myself and like spending time alone, which is kind of sad because I used to be able to do that all the time. Like I would read or I would just spend an afternoon by myself watching Netflix and I would be completely fine but I feel like in this past year I've always wondered like what other people are doing or what I'm missing out on when in reality I should be okay just alone because there is nothing wrong with that senior year I just want to work on taking care of myself putting me before anyone else at times and just making sure I'm happy because life is too short to be in a place where happiness isn't prioritized I think a lot of people stay in relationships because they're scared of being lonely but trust me learning how to love yourself should be number one and and you shouldn't have to sacrifice your happiness for someone else but besides that when it comes to dating and boyfriends and everything i just want things to come naturally obviously i'm not trying to like focus on that because i also believe in the saying when you don't chase that's when it comes so i don't want to force anything if something happens this year it'll happen but for the time being your girl is in her single girl era now going in with the rare beauty mist i'm just gonna set everything i've done so far to my face just with like a couple sprays also, I think someone's mowing their lawn, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. Now time for my favorite part of my makeup routine, lashes. These are my holy grails. I have the Shiseido eyelash curler and then the Maybelline Sky High and Lash Sensational mascaras. I literally swear by my lash routine. <laughs> I feel like I got it down on lock and it won't be changing for a while because I'm very satisfied with how my lashes look. First though, I go in with a little spoolie brush. I just bought like a pack of these on Amazon. Came in like a pack of 100, so it's perfect. But this is just to separate the lashes. Now time to curl and put on all the mascaras. Favorite shows at the moment. Ugh, don't even get me started guys. Suits. Ah, so good. I'm obsessed with suits you guys. I started it maybe like a week and a half ago and your girl's already on season three. If that's not obsessed, I don't know what it is. But your boy Harvey Specter. <laughs> he is my favorite character of all time. Oh my god, I love him. But if you haven't seen Suits before, it's all about law, lawyers, attorney, everything about that. I don't know. The plot? The plot. The plot. <laughs> Just everything. Oh, definitely recommend if you're looking for a new show to binge, Suits. But besides that, oh, of course the summer I turned pretty. I feel like I haven't really talked about that on my channel, but I always get questions of which team I'm on and obviously team Connie baby. <laughs> team Conrad for life. I am totally a Conrad girly. And okay, this is my reasoning. It's because the heart wants what it wants, you guys. And Belly will always love Conrad. I understand Jeremiah is a really good guy. Like, don't get me wrong. Love him to death. He's such a sweetheart. But... <laughs> Is that who Belly wants? No, it's Conrad. It will always be Conrad. So I am sticking with Team Conrad. If you guys want to chat about it in the comments down below, we can. I feel like you just can't persuade me to be a JR girl. I'm a Conrad girly. But other than those two shows, I think my all-time favorites like of life will be Friends. Love Friends to Death. That's my comfort show. And then also Gossip Girl. Like, ugh, love Gossip Girl. I also put Sky High on my bottom lashes. I know I look very silly right now, so don't mind my face. I used to not do my bottom lashes, but then I started to when I really like it. So I'm gonna continue doing it. I am trying so hard right now to not get it on my skin. Boom, baby. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit. Now time for some highlighter. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Breezy highlighter. This baby has been through it. There's like a little crack at the bottom. Don't know how that happened, but I love this highlighter. It's so good. Next topic I wanna talk about is how I stay motivated and productive. People ask me this question all the time and here's my answer at the moment. For me, I feel like I've found a really good system that keeps me organized and that helps me get my stuff done. And that's by planning, thinking ahead and creating to-do lists. You guys already know your girl loves her to-do lists. I make them basically every single day and it's so helpful to me. Then I can really think about what I need to get done. And since it's so satisfying to check off all the boxes on a to-do list, I just, I want to get going and like get it done not only that though i feel like writing it down like it could just be typing on your phone that's so much more beneficial than just trying to remember it all in your head because trust me i've been there where i didn't write it down and then i forgot about it just never happened so instead of making mental notes make an actual note but also i think the key to staying motivated is to at the same time know when to give yourself breaks the past few years i've been really bad about this and always thinking i need to go 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 and do things 24 7 but no that's not good 
we're human beings. We can't always be on the go and be doing stuff every second of the day. So knowing that it's okay to take a break sometimes and just let your body chill and let your mind rest, that's a big step because you cannot give your 100% if you're at 50%. Oh, that's a good line. That was a good saying. And to end on that, a big motivation is you guys. I love you guys so much. This next step in my makeup routine might be a little controversial to some people, but I'm gonna recurl my eyelashes even though I put on mascara. So I'm curling my lashes before and after I put on mascara. And I know it's not the best thing for your lashes, but I am being gentle and boom, baby. It's like I just put on falsies. I love doing this trick, but warning if you do it, just please don't rip your eyelashes out because that would literally break my heart. But if it works for you, it works. And last step, we're doing some red lipstick. This is the Fenty Beauty Lip Paint in Uncensored. Of course, for the USA theme, I'm doing a red lip. I haven't used this in a really long time, so we're just gonna go slow with it. But last thing I'm gonna talk about are things I'm looking forward to for the rest of 2023. It's kind of insane how we're ready in September and after this, there's only three more freaking months left. Like what? What the heck? What? But guys, get excited. In December, December 8th, 2023, I am turning 18. Your girl is becoming an adult. Oh wow, look at that lip. I can't believe I'm gonna be an adult. Okay, hold on. I probably shouldn't talk and do this at the same time. Let me just do the top. Oh my god, this is a little scary. Okay, <laughs> I look crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna be an adult by the end of this year, which is so exciting. Slay, okay. Okay, red lip. Oh my god, this is spicy. <laughs> Kylie Jenner who? But yeah, I'm gonna be 18. And also, end of the year, you guys know what that means. Vlogmas, baby! I've gotten some questions if I'm doing Vlogmas this year, and of course I'm doing Vlogmas. That would be terrible if I didn't do a year of Vlogmas. To think of it, it's my last Vlogmas of high school. That's so sad, you guys. But winter time is always my favorite time of the year, so I cannot wait for that season to begin. We also might be going on a few trips by the end of 2023, so stay tuned for those vlogs. And then also, there may be some unexpected projects coming out very, very soon. I don't think you guys will see this coming, but it's coming very soon. Ah! Now I'm done with my makeup and that's everything that I'm going to talk about. Here's the finished look. Um, oh my god, Nicole. Next up, hair. I curled my hair last night and surprisingly, they've like kind mm, they're kind of falling in now, but they pretty much stayed in all of last night and then all day at school today. Honestly, I'm not even gonna- should I touch them up? I low-key don't even want to. What do you guys think? As if I can get an answer right now. You know what? I'm too lazy. I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I will show you guys though. This is the curler I used. It's from the brand Sultra. And I think it's like a, what is that? Half inch or an inch wand? I don't really know. All right, now at the moment I've been waiting for outfit time. I am so excited for this fit tonight. I picked it out last night and I've been waiting to put on the full fit. But of course we have the blue cowboy hat. This is from Amazon. It has a crown, some fluffs. I wear it for class comps. Any spirit days for my class because my class color is blue. And it's perfect for tonight because it's USA. And then I have this lay. This crew neck is from Brandy and I cut the top so it's like off the shoulder. You guys, it's honestly bad. I've been obsessed with like cutting my sweatshirts lately. I did this blue one the other day. Then I just can't stop. Now I have three cut sweatshirts, but they're cute. So, and then underneath I have this tank top from American Eagle. It's just like blue and has stripes. And then my shorts are from Princess Polly. Okay, now the cherry on top. Wa-bam. <laughs> I'm gonna wear these cowboy boots. These boots are from Nordstrom. They're knee-high boots and they have a little wedge. Perfect because I don't want too big of a heel where then I can't walk because I hate wearing heels. So these are actually perfect. Okay guys, final fit. Time check, it's 3.45. Like I said, ASB has to go at 4.30. So right now, I'm gonna head to Arushi's house. All my friends are meeting there first, and then we're gonna ride together to school, so. Yay! Good morning, USA! <laughs> I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. The girls are back together, and now we're gonna do fit checks. Who wants to go first? Sure. I'll go first. <laughs> Shirt from Zara. Hey. Overalls from PacSun. Shoes from Converse. Bow! You have to show, come closer. Yes. Look at her cute little bow. I found it on my desk this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Two top Tillies. Skirt, PacSun, Addy. Uh, Addy. <laughs> Dollar store, Addy. My mom. And last but not least, <laughs> eight years ago, thrifted, party city, party city. Okay, wait, close my on goals. The so cute. Look, it's she so has like blue paint too, and then the bows. Addy is the And we've got Hollister yes. and my Converse. Slay, US Slay. I already did mine. Oh. They already did <laughs> It's like 4.15, so we're gonna go. Tailgate time.
finishing up right now. So we are bringing all of the posters up to the stadium. We taped them up there and then down there in front of the field. Also guys, I just realized this is my last first home football game. <laughs> That actually makes me want to cry, but no tears right now. Maybe later. But yeah. Ah, no, I'm getting sad. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go help set up. T minus 30 minutes till our first game. It is now 12 30 in the morning just got home took a shower. I am beat so tired I'm literally about to knock out and have the best sleep of my life, but little recap of tonight It was super fun. Like I mentioned earlier. It was my last first home football game <laughs> I'm gonna have that reaction a lot this year like my last first and then my last last Ugh, I am not ready. <laughs> it's okay though. It's fine. But yeah, the tailgate was fun. We were passing out hot dogs, chips, water, and then ASB got to eat hot dogs at the end as well. There were also like games like Spike Ball, Connect Four, and it was a pretty good turnout. A lot of people came. And then the game, I feel like the games are always very hype because so many people come and it's just fun like seeing everyone dress up and like be in the theme and stuff. Unfortunately, we did lose. <laughs> it was like 24 to 21 or something like that and we lost. Whatever though. <laughs> Had a good time with my friends that's all that matters and then after okay i literally didn't film it in and out because we were there for one minute it was so packed that they were barely letting people in so we didn't even say we didn't get food instead we went to canes and then now i'm back home but yeah very good first football game of the year we have three more the hoka one a pink out and then blue out for senior night and i'll probably film those but that is going to be the end of today's video i am about to head to bed i'm so excited to sleep but if you guys stay till the end of the video comment down below the us Vlog because of USA theme. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to the family channel and turn on all of the post notifications. I'll see you guys back with another video. I love you guys so so much. Stay positive. Bye. Mwah.